I designed a simple 3D printed Tensegrity that's super easy to build and costs less than $5 and in this video I'm going to show you how you could build one too. For those of you wondering what a Tensegrity is, essentially it's a structure that relies on tension rather than compression for its structural integrity. The unique design of a Tensegrity structure can give a floating illusion that surprisingly can hold more weight than you might expect. Many basic tensegrity structures have two solid components linked together with flexible components such as cords, chains, or rope. In this case, I'm using an inexpensive bungee cord that I purchased on Amazon. As you can see, the center cord is in tension, while the outer three cords help to stabilize the structure rotationally. After getting some inspiration from other designs online, I went into SolidWorks and created a CAD model that includes a top and bottom piece. I then sliced the model in Prusa Slicer and printed the design in white PLA in just over five hours. The nice thing about this project is that it only requires a few basic items that you likely have laying around your house. I will leave a link to my website where you can purchase the STL files and leave a link to the bungee cord I used as well. You will need a pair of scissors, seven small zip ties, a tape measure or ruler, a lighter, eighth of an inch bungee cord, and of course the 3D printed parts. To start, cut a piece of bungee cord to a length of approximately five and a half inches. It doesn't need to be exact. Then use the first piece to cut two other pieces the same length. This step is important to get all three cords as close to the same length as possible. Lastly, cut a fourth piece approximately three inches long. This piece will be cut shorter later, so don't worry about the exact length. Next, take your zip ties and create small loops like shown. Then with one of the longer cords, tightly zip one of your zip ties to the end. It's important to make sure the zip ties are as tight as possible so they don't come loose. Then use a lighter to melt the fray ends and then repeat the steps for the other two long bungees. Next, feed the three bungees through the holes of the base. Determine the correct orientation of the top piece and feed the three bungee ends through the holes. Repeat the zip tie process on the other three ends of the bungee. And now is the fun part where the design comes to life. Add a zip tie to the end of the short bungee. Feed it through the arm of the top piece as shown and then through the hole of the arm on the base. Pull tightly on the short bungee while lifting the top piece into position. Slide the last zip tie into place and zip it tightly while maintaining tension on the bungee. Lastly, cut the zip tie an extra bungee length. And just like that, your awesome Tensegrity design is now complete. If you enjoyed this project, then please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.